player started in high school. Our first gig was New Year's Eve 1980. That led to opening up for other bands and like speakeasies and halls and you know the Oddfellows Hall and the Arcadian Hall and and then some Seattle band came up and took us down to Seattle with them and then there was a whole scene back then so it just kind of grew out of that. And then all of a sudden we were on a major label for a while and, and we played this place. When we first signed record contracts they called us artists, and we took that very seriously. In other words, you know, every couple of years or so, we feel compelled to sort of express ourselves. And you know, nowadays, not as many people listen to it or even care, there's so much noise out there. But you know what, we still do it. We still put it out there. feel we have something to say. It doesn't matter necessarily that anybody's ready to hear it. When the spotlight seemed to be there, we kind of shied away a little bit. We wanted to last longer rather than last brighter, be brighter. And I don't know if that was the right decision or not, but that's the one we made. 
right? We wanted to still be here in the 2000s. We could have sort of gone for it with the spotlight because it was definitely in there, but we decided let's pull back a little bit and stay. Yeah, that's what we like to think. <laughs>